welcome back to the pen nook. Today we're going to be talking about our top beginner pens, um, which will include the Twisby Eco, the Kuwako Sport, and the Lama Safari. We will be sharing our opinions about the pens, the specs, a writing sample for every pen, and also a size comparison at the end. So first up, we have the Koeko Sport. Uh, this pen, or this brand rather, is from Germany. And the Koeko Sport is one of the models, um, I guess that's more... Budget friendly? Yeah. And um, so I have the limited edition in Lagoon Blue, um, which is a little bit more expensive than the average Koeko, but that's okay. That's just a minor detail. I just really love turquoise. It's fine. Um, but I think this is a perfect pen for anybody who has smaller hands, like me. Um, it's lighter. This, this model is made of plastic. Other Koeko Sports can be either made from aluminum or even brass. Um, but the Sport is really the one that... Uh, the plastic Sport is really the one that we'll be focusing on today. And um, so this pen is perfect for um, carrying around in your bag or in your pocket since it's so small. Um, and like I said, it's also perfect for people who have smaller hands and who don't like large pens. Um, I usually write with this one cap, uh, posted, sorry. Um, first of all, because, I mean, I just think the cap is pretty and I like looking at it when I write, but also just because it is quite short, as you can see. Um, and this one is a cartridge or converter pen, if ever you have a converter. Um, and the cartridge is smaller than, let's say, the Lamy Safari um, cartridge, as you can see, it's a little over um, half of the size of the Lamy cartridge. So that could, you know, that's something you should keep in mind if you're looking for something that will write for longer periods of time. This may not be the best choice, but overall I think it's a very good choice for a first pen if you're just getting into fountain pens. Yeah, so Lexia said it's a great uh, first fountain pen, but um, yeah, it, it's small. It's very small and since it's plastic, it's light also, so personally I find it a bit too light for my taste, but it's a great uh, you know, backup pen or pocket pen, or like you said, to carry around in a bag or something. But for me, I have larger hands, so unposted this pen is just way too small. But when you post it, it's a perfectly good size, you know? So something to note is that the, the Kaveco Sport nib units are easy to change. So it's simply, you screw it, you screw it in and you can change uh, for a couple of bucks, you can buy a medium, an extra fine, a fine, whatever you want. You can uh, switch you can them. Change yeah. the and you can change between your pens. If you have several, several of these, you can change them up. So it's, it's pretty cool. And yeah, the design is very, very good. It's a high quality pen from Germany and uh, definitely a good beginner fountain pen. And quite pretty also. Yeah. I think this is definitely one of the pen designs that I love the most. Yeah, same here. It's a very nice design and there's a ton of colors you can choose from. All right, so up next we have the one and only Lamy Safari. Uh, this is also a pen from Germany, from the Lamy brand. It's a very well-known uh, fountain pen manufacturer. And these have been around for decades and they're just really great pens. They're affordable, yet they last for a long time. So I have a charcoal version from the 1980s in my house and it's still working great. The nib is great, the cap is still snapping well. Perfectly. <laughs> yeah, perfectly, even after like years of use. So this one is the... Um, Petrol Blue limited edition, but uh, a bit like the Caveco Sport, there's a ton of colors to choose from, both limited and regular edition if you like. My first fountain pen was actually a um, red one, 
this is like I said the petrol blue but yeah they're all the same basically the only difference are the the trim colors the, and the pen colors and also the nibs sometimes yeah for example here we have a, a black nib for this edition but normally they're just stainless mm -hmm. Uh, one of the great things about these pens is the size. You know, it's a one size fits all mostly. So I have larger hands. It fits me both unposted and posted. And for a CIA, it's the same thing. I think for you, it's it's a good. Uh, yeah, I usually prefer these unposted just because since my hands are smaller, in general, I don't find the need to post my pens. Um, like you can see, I mean, it. It's not very cap heavy, but uh, obviously heavier than if I just. Yeah. Use it unposted. Other great features about the Lamy Safari are the ink window, so it's very easy to see the ink level. Also, it uses the standard Lamy T10 cartridge, so it's easy to find new ones or refill the old ones with bottle inked if if you prefer. And um, finally, the nibs are very easy to change, so you can swap them out. Uh, you can buy them separately. So maybe you want to try different nib sizes. You don't have to buy a whole new pen. You can just buy a fine, a medium, and a broad, and you can just check out what is your preferred writing uh, size if you prefer if you writing oh. nib size yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> so uh, yeah the nib is very useful and all around it's a very durable and fun pen um, yeah I don't really have much to add to that this was also my first pen uh, mine was white um, and I think it's a very good pen that will last you a long time like the charcoal one is actually his mom's and yeah. It's it's still in perfect condition. Um, but you use it, you know? It's not like it's in good condition, but it was used also. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So there's wear and tear, but it's still, you know, in perfect condition, I guess, considering the circumstances. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't have anything negative to say about this pen. Um, there's so many colors to choose from that I'm sure that you could find the perfect color for you. Um, or more, because, <laughs> let's be honest, I have four. I think you have a few as well. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, these are really nice pens. Last but not least, we have the Twisby Eco. Um, the brand Twisby is from Taiwan and they're pretty much known for their demonstrator pens. And the Twisby Eco, or Eco T, depending on the cap's uh, shape, is really the most affordable one that they make. And I think this is probably one of my, or even my favorite pen model. Um, first of all, because of uh, the fact that it's a demonstrator and you can really see the ink slosh around, um, which is a really cool feature, uh, but also because it's just a very pretty pen. Um, and I, what's fun about these is that they come out in a lot of different colors, but the downside to that is that most of these are limited editions. So if there's one that catches your eye and you know you won't be able to get it. over it, if you don't buy it, buy it. Because yeah. within probably a year's time, um, the prices they, go up. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll, they might still be available, but the prices will likely at least double. Um, so if you're really into one of them, just pull the trigger if you can. <laughs> um, so I think this is a really good pen for somebody who wants a pen with more uh, a, a higher ink capacity. Um, it's really good if you're, you know, taking notes in class or even just, you know, at work and you just want one pen that will do it all for you. Um, I don't think I've ever really had a very problematic nib with these either. Um, so the writing is very smooth with, with these. And I know that I think they're one of the pens that are um, most recommended for shimmer inks. I've seen a lot of people say that they it, use these a lot well. for shimmer inks. Um, and it is a, a bit heavier than the two other pens that we just showed you. Um, like I said... But it's I, not too bad. It's all no, plastic, it's, so... It's fine, right? Yeah. For, for even a longer period of time. Um, but it is a bit, a, he, a bit heavier for those of you who prefer lighter pens. Um, and I don't write with this posted. I don't think many people do. Just yeah, it's because too long. It, it, it's way too long. First yeah. of all, yeah, it's long for my hand. But also it does become a lot more cap heavy. Um, 
I mean, back since heavy. The cap, but... uh, yeah, back heavy, sorry. Since the cap is quite heavier than the two others. Um, but overall, like I said, I really love these pens. Um, and I'm definitely not the only one because I know that <laughs> yeah. a lot of people collect these. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I got one myself a couple of years ago, and uh, I like it, but I'm not as a f a bit, as big of a fan as Sia is, just because the, the grip section is a bit slick for me, a bit slippery. Um, so I prefer something, you know, not as, as smooth as this. And also at the very end, near the nib, there are like small, uh, let's say, plastic... Uh, There's like an indent yeah. almost. And yeah. since I hold my pens very close to the nib, sometimes this is a bit... Uncomfortable. Yeah, for long ready sessions. And uh, so yeah. If you want an affordable piston filler fountain pen, I mean, I don't think there's anything better than a 2 code, really. It's very, it's easy to service yourself. You have the tools in the box. You can service it yourself. It has a huge ink capacity, like we said. Ton of co tons of colors. And just to add a small uh, detail, you said that the Ecos are the cheapest pens from uh, Twisby, but there's actually something called the Twisby Go, I think. But they're oh, not as... Oh, but I mean, they're, yeah, they're you know, close. They're a bit that, cheaper, but yeah. I mean, it's go not for, the same experience. Go for the ego, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Spend that extra like five bucks or something. Yeah. Not sure, but maybe yeah, ten. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, great fountain pen. Just not my favorite one. I prefer the Safari, but hey, we all <laughs> we all good. <laughs> Everyone has their own opinion. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> so that was the Twist Eco. All right. So that was our video on beginner pens. Um, I just want to say that although the, we do say that these are the best beginner pens there are cheaper pens on the market out there like a lot of the Jinhao pens um, but we chose these specifically because this is essentially the pen like this is what we started off with um, and so we find that these are very good beginner pens for um, those who don't exactly want something super that, expensive yeah exactly but don't want something either that is um that feels cheap if that makes sense so i might um, break quickly or anything yeah this is gonna I, last you for a long time exactly um and these beginner pens even though we say beginner pens i have i think i have my most of my pen collection is made up of these beginner pens yeah. so um i think that that says a lot about these um you're gonna so. enjoy them for many years even if you buy them at first exactly so in conclusion, we can say that uh, the uh, Twisby Echo is the perfect choice for someone who wants a demonstrative fountain pen and uh, that likes a higher ink capacity. Mm -hmm. I think that this is like 1.76 millimeter or something like that. So very high ink capacity. Uh, the Lamy Safari might be the best one for someone looking for easy to change uh, nibs and also a very durable fountain pen. The finish is very durable, the plastic is durable. And finally, the uh, Caveco Sport is a very good choice for people with smaller hands or for people that are looking for a, a small pen that they can tuck in a pocket or have in their bags and it takes no space. So these are the main, let's say, selling points for all of these pens. All right, so that brings us to the end. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like our videos so that we can make more. Um, and we'll see you in our next video.